So in the store procedure, we're going to be creating create procedure. We're going to be using the same salary table. We're going to have the same parameter. We have in hours decimal four comma two in rate decimal four comma two. So we have the same parameters here. Language is still SQL. Begin end. Now what we're going to be doing different besides declaring the variable which we're going to hold a salary result is to have an if condition in this example. So this is if condition we're going to figure out whether to calculate overtime or to calculate the regular pay. If conditions over here are very much like VB in VB if conditions had if, then, and if, we have that kind of structure over here. So if hours is greater than 40, then calculate salary as for the first 40 hours, we're going to be a regular rate. And for hours more than 40, it will going to be rate times times and a half. Else, the salary will going to be calculated on hours times rate. So overtime versus regular. And as in VB, you have end if. We have an end if over here as well. One of the main difference that you will notice here in SQLPL that each block structure ends in a semicolon which is so unlike other languages. So end P1 closes that block, end if closes that block, so the closing block does this. So once we figure out what will be the value of salary, we can then simply insert into salary tab the value of salary that we have calculated. So first, save this, compile this procedure, and I'm going to give you the call statement that you are going to make a call to sell process to. And this time we're going to pass a value of hours worked over 40 so that the if condition is true and not the else. So you first compile the stored procedure and then you make this call. Yep, please make sure that you put a semicolon there.